All right, I got my next project I've been working on for quite a while. This is a cyclone movement speed build. I think I'll demonstrate it first. It is my blood aqueducts farmer. Because everyone loves to farm the blood aqueducts. As you can see, I'm getting enraged because I'm using these gloves here. Movement speed doesn't really pick up until I get my nine frenzy charges. I should put frenzy on my middle click button. But uh, the frenzy charges stack up pretty fast. Already at nine. I think I have a, a 12 limit right now. Yeah, now I'm at 12. Uh, one problem with this build. I'm so fast, I am dizzy when I play it. I am getting motion sickness. It's too fast. And I can barely control it. So I don't really want more movement speed, but I'm asking for more movement speed. If you guys got anything that'll give me more movement speed, let me know. I'm gonna add it into this. But, uh, show that gear later after I finish a Blood Aqueducts run. I mean, I, I think I get more currency doing this than I do running maps, if I'm being completely honest. Especially like the lower level currency, which I happen to be very low on. And uh, it seems to be faster just to go back through and hit the portal on the other side. Not Maybe not faster, but like uh, more effective. God damn, it's fast, but I, I can't play it for long because I am fucking sick. <laughs> Feeling sick. So as I'm running through, I have a, a fucking flask for the elemental resistances because my resistances are capped because I focused on movement speed and not resistances. I think it shows it capped, because I think when you go to the Blood Aqueducts, you, you lose some of your negative res from uh, doing labs and shit. Yeah, you must be losing shit from labs. God, I can barely control it. It's too fast. You'd think I'd have some kind of MTX or something for Cyclone, because I play it so much. Uh -huh. that fucker? Oh, he's a beast. It's like, why are you not dead? Alright. Now you see the, the speed that I'm working with. Here was the idea. I'm using this. Dahlias. I got Divergent Cyclone. I finally broke down and fucking picked one up. Actually, I broke down and picked one up and then I corrupted it. And it went from 20 quality to 10. Fucking ruining it completely. Very pissed. But with this, I get 20% more movement speed. Which then results into less, 30% uh, less movement speed. I mean 10% less movement speed. As you see there, that extra 20 makes it 10%. So my cyclone speed and my walk speed are almost the same. Uh, I'm then rocking that with chance to poison. Just because, you know, I need to poison. And it does 25% increased damage with poison. That's pretty nice. Pulverize for the AoE. Awaken melee because uh, intimidate. I want to intimidate. And it seems pretty good. Seems pretty fucking good. Anomalous Nightblade support. For the 50% increased effect from elusive. Uh, divergent withering touch. Withering touches that apply a wither have to 50% chance to apply an additional wither. And when I'm rocking and getting my spin on, I got a lot of attack speed and I'm applying those withers like fucking no one's business. All right, that's the main setup. Obviously, an Ashes of the Stars with a 30% quality. I found this one a long time ago. It's the second best one I found. I found another one that had the 10% experience gain of gems and a 19% reservation skills and a 30 quality, but I sold that one for mucho, mucho dollars. So this, I'd rather 
have this one, which has the it's slightly worse. Um, fuck, I'm rambling. I'm always rambling. In this game, it has a price curve. The closer you get to a perfect item, the more exponential the price of that item gets. So you can get an average Ashes of the Stars, and you can sell that for 30, 40 to buy. But if you're getting like the perfect ones, you're hitting into the 80s, 90s, at least when I last looked. So I sold the perfect one, I believe it was for 90 divines when I got the, and it's not perfect. It was 19%. So it was one away from perfect. Didn't have the 20% reservation. So one away from perfect, Ashes of the Stars. It sold, I think it was months ago. I think it was 90 divine. Anyways, so Ashes of the Stars to pump up the quality. Rockin' uh, Clarity, which does nothing for my Cyclone. My cyclone only costs seven mana and it just fucking eats it. Eats it. I also wanted to reduce my attack speed a little with these two things here, uh, which is counterintuitive for poison a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Wanted to reduce my attack speed so I could fucking cyclone a little longer. Right here, to give me 1% movement speed per frenzy charge, plus 1% maximum frenzy charge. This one right here, 16% movement speed, plus 1% one uh, maximum frenzy charges as well as increased global physical damage so that's pretty good and 20 percent attack speed so that's a pretty badass fucking shield right there and this claw <laughs> i'm only using because it's got five percent movement speed five percent movement speed claw put it on there let's fucking get it i mean obviously i could use much better claws but this one's got five percent movement speed sorry i'm fucking laughing at my own build and then this uh ring here i'm at low life but it also has 7% movement speed. Now, I could get 8, but I got this bad boy corrupted to give me that 16 elemental. Because as I was saying, my elemental resistances are pretty jacked up. But when I'm mapping, I can uh, rock this. Well, not that I've run a map yet. I've only run Blood Aqueducts for the speed. And I'm running these gloves. Inside, we got a Petrified Blood, Enlighten, and Withering Step. I mean, I guess it's just Petrified Blood. Um could probably maybe squeeze in something else drop a lower level vitality because i don't need that much vitality because my fucking rage oh fucking berserk i could put berserk in there berserker na 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 berserker berserk there we go right there bam it's gonna make me go is this berserk gonna make me go faster uh 20% less damage, 20% more attack speed, 31% more movement speed. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, let me check uh, some Divergent Berserks or some of that shit. This site is so good. Whoever made this site, you are fantastic. I think that's going to be an active skill. Uh, burr. Actually, I can just do this. Burr. Berserk. Burr. I can't spell Berserk. <laughs> it seems like it should have a Z. Berserk. It's not Berserk. It's Berserk. Zerk. Berserk. Alright. Uh, more spell. Increase cooldown recovery rate. Yeah, attack damage is the best one. So now I have Berserk. Divergent Precision for 5% increased damage. I'm not sure if that 5% increased damage is like a more multiplier. I highly doubt it. It's probably just a 5% increased damage. But uh, that seemed like the best one is the Divergent Precision. So I got that bad boy. Divergent Blood and Sand to increase the AoE. Too bad Cyclone is fucking busted. But uh, it does a lot more damage in Blood Stance. Arrogance Support. I didn't even look at the other ones. Aura Effect seems fine. Uh, da, 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 enlighten, and then I'm using purity of elements to help with those resistances, and enlightenment support, and haste, obviously haste, obviously. So I'm using Danny DeVito's because it's got 20% movement speed on the helmet, uh, and in there I got vitality, clarity, and arrogance. Now I could easily get rid of this ring, it's only 7% movement speed, and I'm already fast enough to make me fucking sick playing this build. And then here I have my skill set. So let's just type in a movement. I went ahead and typed in movement for these bad boys to make sure I got all the uh, all the hot movement skills. Hot, hot, hot. 
I'm missing this one, but I didn't want to quite path in there, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have phasing at all times, but it is 10% movement speed, and it is pretty quick. I pathed up here to get uh, 5 movement speed. Let's not talk about this node. I really want it, but, you know, it's going to be a little difficult to get that. I mean, I could get rid of one of these, but I have polymath. I can actually get rid of this entire thing and probably get some more movement speed, but I like the polymath. I'm getting 10% movement speed here if I have not taken damage recently. Uh, da, da, da. This obviously ignores the penalty. Path in this way just because it's more effective to get these nodes than it is to just path over here or to over here. And I believe one of these gives me movement speed for frenzy. Yeah, 2% movement speed for frenzy charge. 2% uh, attack speed. Anyways, all that good stuff uh, for the frenzy charges. Now, boys, and the one girl, I checked my YouTube channel, it said a girl watched one of my videos, and she best be careful, it's no, no, November, I'll find her, but apparently a girl watched my video, can you believe that, she was probably repulsed, and as are all the guys, but anyways, tell me how to improve it, I don't know a lot about movement speed skills, Obviously, if I were to run map, I'm going to try to run a just map. Let's a just try to, to run a map. If I were to run a map, I'd switch that claw out. Because, you know, that claw is just kind of dog shit. I do like the life leech is instant, but the claw is kind of dog shit. I'd just put a wasp nest on there. Or get nuts and go buy a fucking expensive claw. It's funny, I've had probably five expensive claws i keep buying the really nice claws i made one but i keep buying the 20 to 30 divine claws and then i use them for a build and i'm like all right i'm over it and then i sell them and I'm, for a while they were selling great i'd buy them for 30 divine and i'd sell it for 30 divine i'd basically get my money back on there but they kind of stopped selling so i lost money on my last claw so then i stopped buying those really nice claws the difference between a really nice claw and a wasp nest isn't that great. I mean, it is pretty great, but it's not like, uh, you know, life changing. That's not life changing. But, uh, sold two thread of hopes, bunch of other shit. So the key to mapping is going to be keeping that, uh, resistance. Damn, that has a lot of resistance from this flask. Oh, 35% additional resistance during the flask. I could get that, uh, divine, not but divine, um, fucking mana, so weak. What do they call that shit? Why am I drawing a blank? A timeless jewel that makes it so, uh, the flask keeps stay flasked. This flask stay flasked. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, sometimes I talk so well. The flask stay popped. You're drinking the potion at all times. He's chugging it. It's fucking Red Bull. Oh my god, I'm getting sick from the speed. Oh, those fucking blue guys. I should have turned that off. Those blue guys, they kill me more than anything in the game. Because I stop, and then they just appear, and they shoot at me. It's ultra annoying absolutely ultra annoying so let's go to blood stance and get some damage let's max out these frenzy charges and we can look at some numbs i mean obviously the damage is not the point of the build but it's nice to have some actual damage and cyclone is kind of a piece of shit skill so uh you know if you can do some damage with cyclone that means you're, you're doing something right because cyclone is fucking garbage in terms of its actual damage potential absolute garbage it's devastatingly sad. It's like the best skill in the game. It's the most fluid, easiest to use, and they just fucking wrecked its power. The resurrect in town? Really? You're gonna click resurrect in town? Hello. Why is that a button still? And why do I click it all the time? At least it loaded fast this time. Oh my god, I'm getting a headache. <laughs> this fucking movement speed is too much for me. My old man face cannot handle it oh i guess i should pop all my shit cyclone's a little awkward with uh withering step 
because you gotta like un can't just hold it because I move so fast with the cyclone I'd love to I can't put life tap on because it kills me too fast with life tap but they have that ring uh the reduction mana ring and then the other one that reduces the cost based on the amount of corrupted items you have which I believe all my items are corrupted it's like sweeping move your mouse right and you move your mouse left might be a little better without the rage. Oh, I'm gonna fucking pop a Zerk on this boss. My god, I can't fucking control it. It's too fast. But I want someone to make it faster. Pop a Zerk. Oh my god, it's so fast. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay, now let's continue to fight while I have my Berserk on. Oh, I'm out of Berserk. But I instantly run out of mana as soon as I'm like out of hitting people. Fucking instant. So I will be dropping that low life ring. <laughs> oh, and this fucking little circle just instantly stopped my mono regeneration. So let's just pop, I think I have one. Let's pop it on right now. And fuck the resistances. That, that, yeah, that's the not very good one. I sold th these have been selling extremely well. Okay, now it just costs three life. Those have been se selling so well. I mean, I don't even have my frenzy charges. I'm fucking hauling ass. So I don't know where movement speed is located. That's got to be defense, right? Action C, movement speed modifier. All right. Once we get them frenzy charges back up, we'll, we'll take a look at what uh, what kind of movement speed our numbers were hitting. Almost fucking died. Five frenzy charges, eight frenzy charges, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we are looking at like a two seventy five. I saw a 275 peak on me. 304. Get that berserk. Four some 437. Oh my god. That is some uh that's some speed. And I'm sure someone has fucking done more with speed than that. Obviously some people they uh, specialize on the speed. But uh Maybe not while cycloning. It's pretty fast while cycloning. I got Berserk. Eh, not the best damage, but I am using a dog shit claw, so you know I can T16 with a dog shit claw. Oh my god. Okay, well I would do more demoing, but I think I have to go fucking throw up. If I'm being honest. Ooh, more armor scraps, guys. You gotta love it. Okay. Am I capped on my resistances with that potion pop? I am capped on my resistances with that potion pop. Oh, I bet there's some fucking timeless jewels that have movement speed on them. Uh, anyways, uh, if any of you guys, based on what you saw, have any ways to improve this movement speed, let me know. This will be my Rev 1. And I'll have more revs later once I, you know, get some advice on how to improve my movement speed. I know you can get these flasks that uh, have increased movement speed beyond the regular movement speed. And I tried to roll it for a while, but it seems like it just wasn't hitting. When you play through the campaign and you choose the movement flask towards the end, a lot of times it will have that extra movement speed when flask is active. And, uh... It's very nice. So I usually select that as my flask. I mean, it's always good to select those anyways, but it's really hard to hit. Well, it's really hard for me to hit that extra movement speed on the movement speed flask. Um, and I'm not sure I'm, I could just use that unique movement speed flask, but it'll eat my frenzy charges, but it will give me onslaught for a long time. Cause it'll eat 12 frenzy charges, but, uh, I don't generate charges as well as I should. And I might, uh, 
I might uh, see if there's a better one of these. This one just gives me a bunch of different attributes. I don't need those attributes. Um, I think I saw some that had a minimum frenzy charge increase and then a 4% chance to get a frenzy charge on kill. There's also that other ring and I'm pretty sure I still have one. I don't know if it'll be enough. It's obviously not as good as this, but I might be able to find some pretty bitchin' corruptions. Uh, oh yeah, that's fucking awful. Yeah, no matter what I- even with the best fucking corruption on that. It's not gonna be as good as this one. And it also has that regeneration too, for uncorrupt- yeah, uncorrupted stuff. I got, uh, that's uncorrupted. That's uncorrupted. That's uncorrupted. That's... I'm pretty evenly split. Just enough to do it. So I wouldn't even need a... Let's uh, pop this vitality off. Just need let's a get this berserker. Na 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 berserker. Let's see if I can Google that. I think it's from mall rats. I don't care if she's my cousin now, I'm gonna knock those boots again tonight. Yeah, and he's from where Russia you're from. Nah, he's moving to the big club nice. He wants to play metal. metal. Sexy. For you is like a truck bell <laughs> Would you like some making fuck bell zaka? <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. Did he say me? Making fuck bell zaka. Anywho. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have to go throw up. Uh, shoot me some advice. Alright, I couldn't get a, a full vomit on. Uh, bulimia did not work, so I'm gonna run another blood aqueducts. So I can catch some bulimia. Let that rage build up. And get me some frenzy charges. I'm gonna pop that berserk. Because the other times I was running it, I didn't have no berserk. So once I pop that berserk, I'm gonna be fucking flying. It's gonna be like fucking uh, crack or some shit. Alright. Got my 12. Here we go. Here we go. Pop it. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh yeah, I can barely fucking control it. That's fast as fuck. Man, does it make me feel real bad all up in my insides. Fucking eyes feel like they're popping out of my head. What the fuck? Okay, I have to go this way. I was like, I could have sworn I saw a way up there. It's like turning Cyclone into Flicker Strike or some shit. Alright, give me my 12. Alright, here we go. Berserk. I should put. S Whoa. I should put sand on instead of blood. Get that AoE, though, Cyclone fucking bussin'. Okay, I know the way to make me throw up. Not quite ready to barf yet. Check this out, you guys. You guys, fucking, you guys are ready for this. This is gonna be. The, this is gonna be the one that does it. Be like, oh, oh, what can he? I like the drip though. To be honest with you, look at that shit. That fucking red coat looks pretty fucking badass. Kind of merges with the shield well too. And that's the best looking claw in the game. So, you know, I'm, I'm dripped out. I'm looking pretty fucking badass. And I got my fucking helmet wings. 
Yeah, I'm dripped out. But anyways, here we go. Zoomed in. Let's fucking party. Oh god. Oh, this is awful. Oh my lord. Oh, this feels so bad on every bit of my insides. Oh man. Ball with the ball to bang to dang diggy diggy. Up chuck. The boogie. I'm about to up chuck some uh some pork. Some lean hog. Uh Ultimate gameplay. Oh dear lord. It's so spinny. Just yeah, that did the trick. <laughs>